Hey, hey everybody, this is Melina from scrapbookingwithme.com and today's video is a M Scrapbusters video and that is my weekly challenge where I try to help you to use up some of your scraps and not throw away everything. So I've got these pieces. So I've got some bigger scrap and then just some little strips here. So you'll need something like this. This is some brown paper, uh, like wrapping paper. I've just got a piece of that. So you'll need some pieces like this. And then you're also going to need some kind of maybe circle or butterfly, some kind of die cut shape. So something like these that I have. Um, I'm going to fussy cut out some of these butterflies and some of these. This sheet is free on my coffee website, ko-fi. And then these, I do believe um, these are Betty Ann Renfro creation and they are a freebie on my Buy Me A Coffee website. So I'll leave these links if you need some butterflies. And then I've got these little strips. I'm going to punch out some circles with my one and a half inch circle punch. So you'll need a few pieces like that, maybe a few die cuts. Then you'll need some scrap paper like this. And we are going to make some belly band slides and you will see what the slide part is in just a minute. So here are my cutout pieces and I'm just gonna, I've already inked them. I'm gonna put them in my little bowl over here. I got my one and a half inch circles already inked, butterflies, and then those two die cuts. So I'll just place those in there, ready, ready, for when we make our slide part of this project. So what I'm gonna do so I'm going to fold in this way and then I'm going to use my trimmer and cut about there. Now you see me lining it up. So you kind of get the gist of what we're trying to accomplish here. So then I'm going to fold in that side. No measuring, just fold it, y'all. But of course, try to fold it straight. Okay. And so then this little piece or your little butterfly or whatever you're wanting to put on the front of it is going to go here. So let's just use this butterfly. Let's ink this up. What I am going to do, just to give it a little extra pizzazz, is I'm just going to chomp off those corners, and then, or you can round them too. So see, that just gives us a little extra something. And when I ink it, you're really going to be able to see it. So just like that, you don't have to ink the back at all because this will probably be adhered into your journal. I'm going to do that edge there and I'm going to do the back edge like that. Okay, and then we're going to glue this butterfly on just on those flaps. So, kind of get your bearings as far as where it'll be. And don't put any of the glue inside here, just on the outside flaps that you've made. And it's okay if it hangs over the edge, if it's a little bit wider totally fine. Okay, so then you have your little belly band slide and you're going to find things that will fit back in here that will stay. So that would be too thin. So you need something that's going to either fold up or something, a die cut or a tag or something like that that's going to fit back behind there. So we're looking at on this one, uh, two inches. So we need something that's two inches wide. 
and I think that might oh look at that sweet okay so then you would find yourself a page in your journal some of those little short pages these would look super cute on just like that you would glue on the back and then that's just a little place for extra journaling or to add a tag or something like that how cute okay let's make this a tag shape on top and that's darling so yep yeah, that's what we're doing we're making belly band slides so there's one and you can make them any size you want let's do this paper here let's get us sort of kind of a straight edge over here to start using Okay, just kind of square it off. That one needs a little help. There we go. And then just start folding over. So you really just need a rectangle shape of scrap. And then you're gonna leave a space in the middle. And then I think I'm going to round these flap top and bottoms and this is just some of that um, wrapping paper well that's not wanting to round really good oh well I'll ink it up and it won't matter so yeah, this is some of that wrapping paper, and I'm just going to ink. It can be a brown paper bag, because that's what this feels like, a brown paper bag. And then ink the fold on both sides. And then the back side, top and bottom. And then just figure out what piece you want to go on the front of it. That's super cute. I think that one would be even better. It's a little bit bigger. Let's do some ink there to cover up all that white. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Let's turn it around and just put glue where it will go on the flap. So that closes your slide up. And then you could even put like um, extra decorating. You could put like a little word phrase there. Let's see if we've got a little skinny something we can put right there. Something short. How about make it happen? Just a little bitty. Okay, then you just want to um, make sure on the back of whatever you put on the front <laughs> for a closure that you've got it good and glued down. pretty and then you're going to figure out how wide you need whatever's going to go back behind it so this one is mm, two and a half two and a half let's see if this fits i think i might have to trim that down just a touch more but remember you don't want it too skinny you want it to really fit well you don't want it too skinny because if it is it won't stay in your slide so that one fits perfectly up and down too i like that we've got some 
that's glue wandering off somewhere inside there. So you don't want that. You're going to close up your slide. But that works. And let's trim those top two. And make us another little slide there. And that would be easy enough to add into your journal anywhere and it's just an extra little piece cute I like these and they're very easy really simple to put together let's do another and these are larger scraps and I mean you can use whatever you have but I just had these actually still sitting <coughs> excuse me on my desk now if I did this I could do a really wide one let's see what that would look like if I did yeah that's a little too that's a little too wide Molina. let's don't let's don't go overboard too much of a good thing sometimes it's not a good thing so let's not go too wide and go too crazy on us. I can make two out of this one. Okay. And then flip that one over. I want to round the corners. Cute. I need to use something on the front of this one that is not a butterfly. Because that's what I've done on the other two. So, right now, I have scheduled this video. This is not something that I made today because we are at National Quartet Convention today. So, I scheduled this out even though last week when I was doing this, I was very overwhelmed thinking that I wasn't going to get everything done. I still had not packed the day before we were leaving. <laughs> I was very, very, very overwhelmed. And still had an appointment to go to Saturday morning. It was, it was crazy. Alright, let's see. I don't think my circle's wide enough. No. So that's another thing you have to see about and then yep yeah, let's use this one sorry I'm using another butterfly um, we'll make a skinnier one in just a minute with some of the circles so I just need glue on the very outer edges of these wings and then find middle and then make sure that you don't have any glue on the inside. I think I'm good. That one's pretty. I like that. Okay, and then we would just need to get something that is, oh, I keep going wider and wider. This one would need to be about three inches wide. So let's see, what's that one? It's a little less. Let's see if it's too skinny. Nope, it's good. And look at that. It's perfectly in there. Too darling. Now we can dress these up any way we want to. We don't have to leave them as plain as they are. But if you were to just leave them like this and then have them in your stash, and you can figure out later what journal they're going to go into and what you would need to decorate on them. Okay, I'm going to tag punch these and ink that up. And then I think this one is skinny enough that I can use one of my one and a half inch circles on the front of it 
So yeah, they're a little plain, but like I said, you can dress them up for whatever journal you're gonna put them in. If you had a floral journal, the tag or journal card that you put in these, or the die cuts, you could even put die cuts in these, um, that you put in them, you could decorate them so that they match whatever your journal is. So now let's use, look at this, little hawk. Yep, I like that. Let's put that on there. And I'm not concerned that this flap is a little fatter than this flap. That don't matter to me. So I'm just going to put glue here and here. And then add that on as my little closure for my slide. And while we're letting that dry, let's look. We need something about one and three-fourths. One and three-fourths wide. That's too wide, but that would really go if I cut it down some. So let's go one and three-fourths about. And let's see if that fits now. Ooh, it's still a little tight. Let's go just a little bitty sixteenth of an inch cut off of there. Okay, and then I'm going to leave this one a little bit longer than the actual slide. So let's just eyeball it <laughs> and cut that one off. That is cute. So there is your slide part because you don't have anything on the bottom to catch it. But it is wide enough that that's holding it in. That is a pretty one. I like that one. So that would be darling. Like that added to it. You just glue on the back side and add it on there. Have that little part peeking out over the top of your journal. Very, very cute. I think I do like them really skinny like that. It just is something totally different. This is a little piece off of a Cara Brandon digital. I'm just going to chop off the white and do a couple with this. Very pretty. That last fall kit. I think Autumn Splendor was the name of this one from Miss Kara Brandon. And I'm going to flip over like that. And I'm not concerned that it's white on the inside. A lot of people do have a problem with that though. So if you do, cover it up with something, tea stain it, something like that. I'm going to come over just a little more shallow than that was. And then fold that in that way. I'm going to round these corners maybe if I can get the that in there. Oh yeah, it works. So, mom is um, lots better. She's feeling lots better. Alicia is good with her oral surgery that she had. I think both of them are feeling lots better. So, <laughs> hopefully we don't have to go through any of that for a long, long time. And ho hopefully mama has made her a new video. Like I said, I'm out of town right now while you're watching this, if it's just come up, popped up that I just posted it. I actually scheduled it to post and um, hopefully mama is so much better that she has made her a new video and is telling y'all all about how much better she's feeling. Okay, I like that. Cute. So I'm just going to put the glue on the paper instead of the piece. Oh yeah, that's cute using a circle on the middle. 
very cute and then this one I'm gonna need something that is a little wider than two inches let's look here I don't need anything that's too crazy either say a little wider than two inches Yay. And then let's just trim it off where that natural line is. So it's a little bit longer than the um, slide itself, but I like that. I like how that looks. Pretty. Let's tag punch that one. So see how fast these come together? Belly band slides, y'all. Very cute. Um, let's do one with this drawing paper I had left over from something else. I don't know. It looks like I did some practice stenciling on it. And then I think I will trim it about there. And that is not even straight and I don't even care. Cute. Fold it over just a little bit more. I'm not going to do anything to the corners of that. I'm just going to ink this. Yep, that's what I did. I did some um, stenciling practice on drawing paper. And of course, like a silly, I kept it. There we go. And now let's figure out what we want to put on the front side of this one. I like that. I like it sticking off. So I'm good with that. Do I want the zigzags any other way? Yeah, I like them more prominent that way. So let's do... Whoop, nothing in the middle, Melina. You're going to close up your slide. Okay. There is that one. And we will need about the same. Something a little um, less than two inches. That's going to be too short. So let's find something a little bit wider. Or a little bit longer, I should say. That's not wide enough. See, it just falls right through. So you need something as wide as your pocket piece. See, that just falls right through. So we need something with a little more girth to it. So this one's too wide. So we're going to cut that down some. And then just barely cut and then come back and you can... Barely cut some more. Little more. Oh, perfect. I think I will trim it off about right here. And make tag corners at the top. Cute. Yeah, and you can dress up these tags that you're putting in them as much or as little as you want to. Oh, yeah, that one's kind of elegant looking. I like that. And it's just made from scraps, y'all. How cute are these? All right. So if you make some belly band slides, I want to see them. And um, I've got some really skinny tags right here that I would like to put in one of them. This one is only one and three-fourths wide. Let's maybe do two more. <laughs> uh, but yeah, if you make any of these, I want to see them. And um, all you need to do is... Oh, I need to cut this one down. Use the hashtag MScrapbusters. 
so that I can find you and leave you some love if you make them. Because I want to see yours. That's why I make stuff. Just so I can inspire you to make it. And then I can see your creation too. So these are gonna this one's gonna have really wide flaps on it. Ah. And it's gonna be really wide, so it's not gonna be for that. <laughs> really wide flaps. But I like it. It's not as skinny as some of the other ones. I'm gonna leave those edges like they are and just ink that. So you really just need a long rectangular piece and then just fold up flaps and you're ready to glue on your cover piece. Oh, that one would be very, very neutral, wouldn't it? Let's do that. Okay. And I'm going to put glue on the top flap. Or wing and then a little bit on the bottom one cute like that okay and then this one <laughs> this one is wide this one needs something just barely under three inches wide. Let's see if we need to cut off some of that one. Yep, let's cut off a little bit of that one. Let's see what we got now. Oh yeah, nice little stripity piece back there. Cool, it's like an open-ended pocket, no uh, bottom part of the pocket and let's do something with this black piece and let's get it shorter I'm going to use my bone folder here and let's just go here we might can do two of these I'm wanting to see if I can get it so that I can put those tags in it Let's see here. Of course, this is cardstock, so it's not as easy to fold over. And it wants to give me a little bit of resistance in the whole folding process, but let's see. If I have done an all right, oh, look at that. Yay. All right job doing that, Melina. Good job here. Okay, and get one of those. I like that it's hanging over the edges. No need to ink this because it's that glimmer cardstock. So I'm going to do this and this. And put that on there. Cute, and that can hold that little tag. Little belly band slide. Let's do, go ahead and do this one since I got it. I'll try to make the flaps a little better on this one. Oh no, this one might be too skinny. Yep, it's too skinny for that tag, but we can still fold it over and I've got some kind of piece of scrap in my pile that we can use. That's too big. Let's use another circle. Let's go glue here and glue there. Maybe a little bit more glue there. And put that there and it hangs over cute this is a micro mini one I love it let's see if that fit oh <gasps> almost it almost fits let's just do a little 
trim trim with our scissors. And see if that fits now. Hee <laughs> hee! I love it. I'm going to trim it off there. And I'm going to do tag corners on this itsy bitsy little piece of scrap. I mean deep tag corners too. Hee <laughs> hee! Alright, the wording is there. So I'm going to flip it over and put it in right there. <laughs> Cute! So see that? It's just showing you you can make them any width, any size that you want. So if you make some belly band slides like I have made today in our M Scrap Busters challenge, I want to see them. So use the hashtag M Scrap Busters or tag me, Melina Pilot, and I will do my best to find your creation and leave you some love. Y'all have a great day. I'm trying to clean up my mess over here before I get finished, and I should just be paying attention to y'all. Uh, y'all have a great day. God bless. I will see you in the next video, and um, we shall be back, hopefully, Lord willing, the next video. Y'all have a great day. God bless. Bye, y'all.